I can't believe this. Absolute chaos. The trades are just not stopping. This is now the fourth big trade of the day. Chicago has acquired Seth Jones from the Columbus Blue Jackets. I'm going to try to get through this relatively quickly because the draft starts soon and I don't want to miss any of that. Here are the full details of the trade. Chicago acquires Seth Jones, the 32nd overall pick in tonight's draft, so the last pick of the first round. They also acquire a 2022 sixth round pick in exchange for Adam Boakfist, the 12th overall pick in tonight's draft, a 2022 two first round pick and a 2021 second round pick. There hasn't been any word on if that 2021st going to Columbus is protected or anything. I feel like it kind of has to be. I mean, imagine if that pick ends up being Shane Wright. Now, there's more than just that initial trade. Chicago then signed Seth Jones to an eight-year, $9.5 million AAV contract extension. It can't be signed until Wednesday, but they already have the agreement in place. So the total value of that contract for Seth Jones, $76 million. Holy. And wait, there's more. As you can see on the the screen, the Columbus Blue Jackets would then flip the 2021 second round pick they got in this trade to the Carolina Hurricanes for defenseman Jake Bean. My mind is absolutely blown. This is by far the craziest day in my life as a hockey fan when it comes to news and trades in the same day. The closest thing to this, I would say, was when Hall and Larson were traded for each other on the same day as Subban and Weber were traded for each other. But today definitely takes the cake. This is insane. So first, let's talk about this trade from the point of view of the Chicago Blackhawks. I'm very confused used by the direction that team is going. Remember last offseason when they released that letter to the fans basically saying they're heading into a rebuild and they're going to start focusing on younger players? Seems like we can scrap that idea because they just traded away their best young defenseman and multiple first round picks for a veteran defenseman in Seth Jones. As far as the trade itself goes, this is an overpayment by the Chicago Blackhawks. I don't think there's any if, ands, or buts about it and that contract extension is extremely risky. Seth Jones is coming off of just a completely miserable season season with the Columbus Blue Jackets, by far the worst season of his NHL career. Now that being said, we all know that Seth Jones is better than the way he played this past season, much better. I do think at times a lot of people overrate Seth Jones, but I also don't think he's as bad as some people make him out to be like the advanced stats community. And I'm somebody that is, you know, a pretty big believer in advanced stats. I'd like to use them. I feel like it gives you a really good understanding of the player, especially if it's a guy you don't watch very often. I feel confident enough in Seth Jones' abilities that he is going to make the Chicago Black Blackhawks a better team. He's not just some bum that's going to come in and make them worse. That all being said, even if Seth Jones is at his best, even if he can get back to being at the level he was playing at a couple of seasons ago, you know, the 2017-18 season, this is still not a good trade and that is still too big of a contract. Especially for a team in the position the Chicago Blackhawks are in, that's what I don't get about this trade the most. They're supposed to be rebuilding. I really hope that Seth Jones can bounce back from this past season. I mean, I feel like it would be hard not to, but man, this is just such a big gamble from a team that I really don't think is in the position to make a gamble like this. If Seth Jones plays like a Norris caliber defenseman next season, I still wouldn't even feel confident in betting on Chicago to make the playoffs, let alone compete for a Stanley Cup. Honestly, I feel like that future first round pick going from Chicago to Columbus is what worries me the most about this trade from Chicago's point of view. I feel like that could really come back to haunt them. So that's enough on this trade from Chicago's point of view. Let's look at it for Columbus. If you're a Blue Jackets fan, I feel like you have to be over the moon with this return. Getting a 20-year-old offensive defenseman in Adam Boakfist, who was a former top 10 draft pick back in the 2018 draft. He played sheltered minutes this past season for the Hawks. They didn't just throw him to the Wolves, but in those sheltered minutes, he had 16 points in 35 games. Adam Boakfist is a guy who I think has the potential to be a 55, maybe even 60-point defenseman. I really think he's that talented offensively. I really think this would have been a great trade for the Blue Jackets, even if it was just Boakfist and the 12th overall pick in this draft in exchange for Seth Jones and the 32nd overall pick, but on top of Boakfist and on top of that 12th overall pick, you're getting the lottery ticket of a draft pick that is that 22 first round pick, and then the 2021 second round pick, which they flipped to Carolina for Jake Bean. So they're getting another young defenseman here who was also a former top 10 pick like Adam Boakfist and who also put up solid offensive numbers in sheltered minutes this past season. Fantastic job by Yarmo Kekalainen. and this is an unbelievable trade for the Blue Jackets, and it has the potential to just keep getting better in a couple years from now depending on how those draft picks turn out. So those are my thoughts on the trade that sent Seth Jones to the Chicago Blackhawks. In a nutshell, huge gamble for the Blackhawks, unbelievable deal for the Blue Jackets. As always though, be sure to get down there in the comment section down below and let me know your guys thoughts on this trade, especially if you are a fan of either of the teams involved. Who do you think won the trade and why? How do you feel about the extension Seth Jones signed with the Blackhawks? All that kind of stuff. I apologize if this video seemed a little bit rushed, but like I said at the start of the video, the draft is starting soon and I don't want to miss any of it.